Hey guys, so today, sorry about the voice, actually, I should say that first, um, I lost my voice yesterday, it was horrible, but today I want to do the furry friend tag, and who I got with me today is my one and only furry friend. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him purring and he's chasing shadows right now. Um, so I'm just going to do a tag about him, and there's 15 questions, so it, so it shouldn't take too long. See if he'll sit still through it. <laughs> Alright, so, first question is, <laughs> what is his name? Uh, his name, whenever we adopted him, his name was Dennis the Menace, and we don't like that. We tried Casper, but honestly, um, everybody just calls him Kitty, so his name is Kitty, and yes, it's K-I-T-T-Y, Kitty. And, let's see, <laughs> there's his paw. Uh, when did I get him? I got him probably going on two months ago, um, probably not, not just yet, maybe a month and a half ago I got him, and yeah. Is there, okay, number three, is there anything that annoys me about him? <laughs> uh, kind of, it's kind of my fault though, so I can't really say it's all him. Um, but every time you eat or drink something, he has to know what it is, and he has to have some too. So... Especially milk. He knows whenever you have milk. Um, we don't give him a lot because I know it's not good for him, but yeah. Alright, number four. What is his breed? <laughs> uh, we don't know for a fact. We don't have papers, but um, from the way he acts and my experience and the way he looks, um, I would say he's probably either um, a Maine Coon or a Tiffany breed. Um, maybe a mixture of both. He's <laughs> so cute. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. He's so cute. Um, number five. Has he had a near-death experience? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> he tries to jump on things a lot and misses. So <laughs> it probably feels like near-death to him. But uh, no. A near-death experience is... Move your tail, little shy guy. <laughs> Alright, number six. Does he know any tricks? Okay, well, I think this tag is meant for dogs, but uh, being a cat, he does actually know one trick. Um, if we have a treat and we hold it up a little higher, he'll, <laughs> he'll stand up, but it's not really a trick, but it's cute. Um, number seven, does he love to snuggle? Yeah, he loves to snuggle, don't you? Oh, Let's see. <laughs> yeah, he, um, whenever I'm home, he's following me around, and if I'm sitting down, he's right next to me, so he likes to snuggle with me. He's a mama's boy. Um, eight, number eight, where did I get him? I got him from PetSmart, actually, um, right before we put, uh, Jake down, uh, I went to PetSmart, and I wasn't expecting to find a little creature, um, but I seen him, and he looked really sad, like all the other kittens were playing, and bouncing off the walls, and he was just kind of laying there, and so I went over there, and I tapped on the glass, which you're not supposed to do, but I did, and he just kind of looked at me, and he was all sad, and I asked why he was so sad, and they said, well, his brother and sister got adopted about th two weeks ago, and he hasn't been adopted yet, and I was like, Dennis, Dennis, please, and so he got me kitty. Alright, <laughs> he's like, let me nap. Uh, nine, does he play well with other animals? The original tag said, does he play well with dogs, but obviously not. Um... I don't know if you can hear him purr or not. <laughs> uh, 
I took him over to my mom's once, and she has two cats, and, you know, he, he doesn't really play with them. He'd either play on his own or play with a human. He's not mean, though, so, you know, that's good. Alright, uh, how does... Alright, number ten. Does he do okay with strangers? Well, he doesn't really hiss at them like I've seen some cats do. <laughs> But he doesn't like them, like, as in how he treats me is differently than how he treats anybody else. Even Dennis. Like, yesterday me and Aiden were gone, and Dennis was here, and I guess Kitty didn't even go up to him at all. And whenever I'm home, Kitty, Kitty is always by me and always by my side, and whenever there's people here, he's just kind of looking at them and studying them, as I call it. Alright, <laughs> kitty, I can see the list. <laughs> okay, number 11, how much does he weigh? I actually don't know. Uh, whenever he went to the vet, I want to say he was like 4 pounds, but he was a kitten. And like I said, that was probably a month ago and he's, ugh, he's grown a lot since we got him. He was really skinny actually, he was underweight. So, like, three or four pounds, I want to say. Um, I don't know now, because if you have a kitten or a puppy, you know they grow rapidly. Okay, um, number twelve. <laughs> number twelve, do I dress him up? No, no, um, not really. <laughs> Not in, like, little costumes or anything, but he does, I have put, like, headphones on him, like, that go around his neck. I have a picture of that on Instagram. Um, <laughs> I think he's wore a pair of baby socks before, he didn't like those. Uh, yeah, I don't really, he's cute enough, I mean, look at him, he doesn't need to be dressed up. He's so tired. Okay, uh, number 13, has he tried to run away? I want to talk about that experience. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, he got kind of curious when I had the door open one time. I was getting Aiden in and some groceries in. And he'd never tried to run away before. <laughs> so he ran outside and... Well, he didn't run anymore, like, walked. Made it to the steps, which is, like, maybe a couple feet away from the door. Maybe three feet. But anyways, and there was a pit bull on a leash, and <laughs> he stopped dead in his tracks, the people didn't even really care, but <laughs> he stopped, and he was terrified, and he hasn't tried to go outside since. I let him out on a leash, though, but, I mean, he hasn't tried to go on his own. That scared him so bad. <laughs> Alright, um, number 14, how did he get his name? Um, really, there's nothing behind it. Um, we tried Casper because, uh, we couldn't, he was like a ghost. We couldn't see him in the pictures that we took. We tried taking of him because it was dark, which probably is the reason. So we tried Casper, but I just, you know, sometimes you don't get to pick the name and you just start calling him Kitty or something ridiculous. And he's, he goes by Kitty now and you make him fall asleep like this. Yeah. Um, he goes by Kitty, and so, uh, it works. And then number 15, how much does this pet mean to you? Honestly, I've had a lot of pets before. Um, I've had everything from, a, a fish, which I have a fish and a cat right now. I've had everything from fish to chinchillas, hamsters, ferrets, cats, dogs, and this cat, I don't know, I don't know what's so special about him, I can't pinpoint it, but he means more to me than any other animal I know. And, um, like, I honestly know what people mean when they say, this is my child, too. Like, I, I, I am a mother of three. One's in my tummy, one's taking a nap, and one's right here. And I would do anything for him. I want only what's best for him, like I do my kids. And so he means probably ten. And he's on my pregnant belly. Yeah. He's 
isso aqui. Isso aqui, ó. Não sei nem tem. Não sei nem tem. Can you hear them purr? <laughs> purr, purr, purr. Right, I'll show you guys what he looks like. Because he kind of looks like a big bundle of fluff. Oh, he's so tired. He's just let, let me lay down. A fluffy tail. A fluffy fur. <laughs> Alright, but that was my little video for you guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, <laughs>